What's up guys, Chris from Closet Weeb here, and we're back in my closet to watch season 2 episode 12 of Oshi no Ko, so last episode, Aqua went on a little shopping date with uh, Kana to get ready for their trip to Miyazaki where the hospital is, and then he planned his whole date, very well done, you know, caught Kana on, uh, by surprise, and then he met up with Akane because he wanted to break things off with her. She He didn't feel right um, keeping her by his side, uh, leading her on basically because he was kind of just using her for uh, his main goal of trying to find Ai's killer but now that she, he doesn't need that anymore he, he, he feels like he just needs to let uh, Akane go because she has a lot of potential and when he was telling his story Akane found some loophole in that story with the double lover suicide or whatever but she didn't she didn't tell aqua and then at the end ruby was at Ai's grave and then um the, the her her and aqua their father came walking by and visited the grave as well so he's not actually dead aqua can still look for him <laughs> and his motivation can be revived so let's see what happens. Let's jump into episode uh, 12 of Oshi no Ko, Reunion. Oh, we, oh, flashback. I was like, we already at the hospital. Oh, their previous lives. They got their song. <laughs> she got a cool character design. <laughs> Akane. <laughs> Shouldn't have called it that. <laughs> Kinda not for that long. Kano, she is hurting. Mmm, <laughs> town of mythology, huh? <laughs> He's like, I'm living a happy, I'm living a happy life right now. And I'm back in my hometown. Them crows. This place, this place got that history. That mythology. <laughs> oh. That just leaves Aqua and Akane <laughs> to enjoy the scenery. Amaterasu! He's about to go to the hospital. Yeah. That is crazy! <laughs> we just went full circle. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> that was me. That's crazy. It's like they just forgot about him. <laughs> they didn't even try. Oh.
ブーキーえブラー is he about to find his body? <laughs> his remains, his bones? You know, where he fell? <laughs> his old pet dog, huh? <laughs> nah, it's, <laughs> it's his old body. Dang. <laughs> he just went back to his old house. Ooh, crazy. Dang. His backstory. So he didn't know his dad either? Oh my goodness, here we go. Aww. Yeah, they got attached to each other. Oh, I'm I was not expecting to get emotional. Get an emotional episode here. Look at the backstory. Aww. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Their reflections. Jeez. Is she, is, is that little girl the, the mythological being they were talking about earlier? Oh. oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> Exposed. Jesus, the production. <laughs> <laughs> Miyako MVP. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Talking about her age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> getting in between. Oh, she about to help her out. Yeah, she's back to admiring her. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after the Tokyo Blade performance, she's back. <laughs> she's back to admiring. <laughs> Dang, she's giving you all the advice. <laughs> Yeah. The PTSD. Oh my god. Now it's Kana. <laughs> Time to work you to the bone, man. <laughs> oh gosh. Not the two ladies. 
Who are they about to run into? Oh, jacked. <laughs> I took the room key. It's leading you, it's leading you to that little girl. Man, this is sketchy. Yeah, <laughs> she still has that dream of meeting Sensei. All this love talk, we about to just get hit with something <laughs> blindsided. They're about to run into his bones. <laughs> That's what they're about to see. They're gonna see his dead remains. <laughs> Her little fantasy. And here, you get to see it. Oh my god, what is going on? We're about to see some crazy stuff. We are going in a little cave! This is the reunion! Oh lordy! What did I say? He was holding it the whole time. Ridiculous. <laughs> what a reunion. I thought it was going to be with their father, Jesus. All right, so we had the trip to, I think it's Miyazaki. It was a different town. It was like the hometown of... Ruby and Aqua in their previous life and yeah we got to see more of their backstory in their previous lives you know how how much uh, Aqua was just always around Ruby when she was sick and we learned about their their home situations and uh, Aqua's mom uh, got pregnant by someone he doesn't even know he didn't know his father and then she was trying to keep that pregnancy a secret from her parents so then she ended up passing away she was just she just gave birth in her in her own home and died because of i think blood loss so then he lived with his grandma and that's why he wanted to become a i think they said obstetrician because of what happened to his mom and then that's when he met uh ruby and then Ruby's parents lived in the city and couldn't make it out to the hospital um, and even though their daughter was on the verge of dying and Aqua was just always there by her side and that's why she grew so attached to him and loved him so much and wanted to marry him and whatnot. And then we were following the Bikomachi, they are filming their music video and whatnot. Aqua was taken Akane around, went back to the hospital, try to get any any information he can about <laughs> where his body possibly could have been. <clears throat> and then when uh, Bikomachi finished, uh, Ruby and Akane headed out and they found the remains of Aqua's old body with the same little keychain that Ruby gave him. And so now she's in total shock. Um, so they got to report that. Maybe they'll tell Aqua about it, and they'll they'll figure figure something out from there. But I think this is this might be all the doing of that little girl controlling them crows. Probably led Ruby all the way over there. Um, but yeah, crazy reunion. Uh, can't wait to see what happens next. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.